Latino Ruido. I am your host, Javier Luis. Alex Polanco. ¿Cómo están todos? ¿Cómo están en este miércoles de ceniza? De ceniza, yes. Happy Ash Wednesday. I hope everybody got their ashes. Hey, yo vi que, que tú fuiste hoy. Cállate, <laughs> that was, sí. eso fue una broma. ¿Qué eso fue lo que pasó? ¿Cómo, no ¿cómo sé. pasó una cosa así? Yo fui a ver eh, la cura, right? Sí. Para que me bendiga con la ceniza. ¿Qué pasó? Él me puso una cura de aquí hasta acá abajo. Así de grande era. Espérate, do you guys have a picture of that? <laughs> It's ridiculous. Y oscuro. ¿verdad? Oscuro. They took a paintbrush and painted my forehead with black paint. I think the priest said, mira, este es un pecado, un pecado bastante grande. Vamos a ponerle extra. <laughs> That's funny. Um, who's, you're, 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 Do you see how big that crucifix is on my forehead? That's ridiculous, man. I, I'm going to report that priest. Eso parece And I'm very offended. I'm very offended. Sí. Yeah, they took one right here. Yeah. Can you guys hear us? Yeah. Yeah, no, todo bien, todo bien. Y, uh, ¿y qué más me dice? ¿Cómo estás tú? ¿Cómo fue tu fin de semana? Fue bien, fue bien. Eh. Sí. ¿Tú sabes? ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien, todo bien, tranquilo, tranquilo. Um, let's talk about a couple of things uh, today before we invite our guest. Uh, Soraya Suryu will be with us yes, yes. soon, right? I'm excited about We're going to talk about the topic of HIV and AIDS. And um, y después, uh, we're just going to chill out, have a good time. Uh, somebody's got a little feedback here. Okay, ahí está. <laughs> We found the problem. Era yo el de problema. <laughs> bueno, um, let's talk a little bit about current events. Um, you want to talk about... Ah, sí, 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 sí. De Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner. Could you believe that, man? Self-made self -made billionaire. Billionaire? How old is she? Ese fue el título que le dieron. Well, that's the 20, title they gave her, right? 21 years, 21 años. 21 años. La más joven ha llegado a un billón de dólares. Pero ¿qué fue lo que ella hizo? Maquillaje. Para, para maquillaje. Supuestamente. Real estate and makeup. Real estate and makeup. Max Factor. L'Oreal. Are they billionaires? I mean... They, did they uh, reach that status, or is it just because she's a Kardashian that she reached that status? Eso tiene que ver mucho con eso. Claro. <laughs> Bastante. Wow. To be beautiful. Be beauty get, takes you, gets you far, right? It's something about a person who's good looking that are, that are provided with more opportunities in life than Tú sabes que ya están pegadas eh, por, por ese video que, que hizo <laughs> que, sí, en ese video, video? Que, pe, que pegó a la familia entera. El video. Ah, <laughs> el video de Kim el video Kardashian. De Kim, ese yeah, fue lo que la pegó. That was the infamous video that shot the family up to stardom, right? <laughs> hey, if it, if it takes that, no. No, thanks. If it takes that, no. But anyway, Kylie, congratulations. You're On being a billionaire, you were not self-made, mama. <laughs> you still got something. That's hilarious. I want to talk a little bit about uh, one of my favorite authors, uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Um, I've read a couple of his books, and uh, uh, 100 Years of Solitude, and uh, the other books that I've read by him, uh, Of Love and Other Demons, and uh, Chronicles of a Death Foretold. But 100 Years of Solitude, they're actually going to do a movie on that, and it's going to be released on Netflix. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they made it. Once you make it on Netflix, that's the goal right now for What? us actors. Make it on Netflix and that's say one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. But I'm excited to... Uh, 100 Years of Solitude is a very, very thick book. ¿De qué se trata ese libro? 100 Years of Solitude. 100 Years of Solitude. Yo no lo he leído, yo, yo he leído los, los otros libros, pero este libro empecé y solamente 
pude terminar capítulo 1 y 2, pero después de eso no pude porque era demasiado. It was too much, it was too deep. Y quizá ahorita I'll get back into it. Guess you in your head, guess you thinking. What, what? Yeah, I, I don't know, it's just very deep. Right. It's very deep. I'm going so, to I'm gonna have to take a look at that book. Yeah, tú te cansas enseguida. I mean, I'm <laughs> going to be like, oh, you know. Pero, ¿qué más, qué más? El, eh, Anthony Ríos, que murió. Anthony eh, Ríos, yeah. Bolero yeah. dominicano, cantante. Yeah. But we've been very lucky este año que no recibimos mucha nieve. You know? El frío sí, el frío sí, pero nieve. But no. no no no. no 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 I mean, What's that bulletin? No. That's hilarious. El Eduquemo es el momento para darle el tremendo aviso de la tormenta. Una tormenta de 6 pulgadas. Así es. Más grande que la No way. If you have to rely on the MCA, they're running on significant delays, as always. There's a lot of snow today, there's almost six inches. Uh... Estoy agradecido de que él me That's dio. Hilarious. I mean, I'm glad you did that. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what did he say though? No, no, no se entendió bien. Él nada wow. más dijo six, six inches of snow, very bad, bad for business. Y yo solo fue, eso fue lo que yo entendí. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pero guy, está bien. That's all right. Yo lo quería agarrar paliando, pero de, después. Sí. <laughs> nah, pero. No, es de, demasiado. Yo tengo una amiga que acaba de, de mudarse de, en, a, a la Florida, Orlando, porque quería escaparse del frío de Nueva York. Uh -huh. Esta mañana me mandó un texto, dice Javi, me levanté y hace un frío en, en la Florida, 40 degrees. Sí, así there. yo vi que, que una gente puso así, Jeep Buggy, fue que puso. Wow. Yo dije, wow, Isn't that crazy? está frío para allá, para allá está ah. de jacket. Ya, tú que, tú que te quieres escapar para allá. Dije. Yo me quiero escapar para allá, pero yo quiero una casa allá y yo quiero un lugar aquí también para ir y regresar. You know, come and go. That's the way to do it, you know. Six months so over way. there, six months there, whatever. El invierno para allá. Siempre, siempre tú, tú quieres estar en el... Claro. <laughs> un lugar cerca de la playa, ¿por qué no? Right? Escaparte del frío de aquí. No, my God, demasiado. Se está poniendo peor. Peor. ¿Y qué más hay? ¿Qué más hay? Ice. 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 Yeah. Y ice, como la gente que están deportando. Sí. ¿Qué oh, fue eso? Hay, hay como un niño gritando. Bueno. ¿Quién está ahí? ¿Quién está ahí? Llámenlo, llámenlo. Llámenlo. ¿Cuál es el número? Sí, ¿Cuál es el número? <risa> el favor, llámenlo. 347. Lo vamos a poner ahí ahora para que nos llamen. Bueno, como dije ahorita, um, we have a very special guest, Soraya Sergio, she'll be with us shortly. Stay tuned. Um, we're going to talk, touch on the subject of HIV and AIDS. Vamos a hablar sobre la tema el VIH y el SIDA. Um, vamos a hablar uh, los avances de los medicamentos y cuando la diferencia entre uh, las personas que tienen el virus en los 80, 90 y hoy en día. Y, um, y nada, so stay tuned, hang out with us. It's going to be a good show. No se lo pueden perder, no se muevan de ahí. Eh, regresamos en un par de minutos. Un par de minutos, un par de minutos. Y nada, um, este fin de semana, ¿qué hay? ¿Qué hay, ¿Qué hay este fin de semana? Sí, nada, you're going to hang out. ¿Qué hay contigo? Eh, no, no tengo nada. Mañana no. voy otra vez para el... Comedy Club. How's that going? Perdí la última vez. Oh. Me, quitan, me quitan mi trono. 
Porque, ¿qué pasó? Eh, no, no, yeah. parece que no, la gente no, no estaban con el flow. Me fui, me fui muy extreme. Why? What did you talk about? Eh, eh, no, no, no puedo. <laughs> Tú tienes que ir a ver mi show. Yo no puedo decirte lo que pasa en mi show. Yeah, last week I couldn't go to your show and I couldn't go to the uh, La Boom. Oh, sí. Because que... oh, I was at the grabando. studio, yeah. ¿Cómo te fue? Oh, my God, it went really well. No, no hay un preview por ahí que no No, 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 no previews. No hay un preview. I don't reveal anything until the finished product. So, estamos en eso. Y que, más o menos, se puede hablar sobre el tema, si es salsa. Es salsa. Claro. Es salsa. Y no me atrevo a decir el título. Todavía no. No, 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 todavía no. Pero eh, también estamos hablando sobre un video musical. Vamos a ver. Y, you know, tengo, yo tengo idea. Yo soy una persona que me gusta crear y me gusta, how do you say, think outside the box. Ser creativo. Como... You know, hacer, yo, me gusta ser diferente de lo demás. You know, because, you know, we have such a huge uh, density of salsa musicians, salsa singers, everybody's pumping out salsa songs. So you, everybody's trying to stand out, and that's what I'm trying to do for myself. I want to be different and stand out from the rest. So my... Motors are running, y tengo una idea, y vamos a ver, vamos a bregar. So, ahorita, you'll find out very, very soon. Right? I'm excited for that, man. Yeah, I might use you as an actor, why not? Claro, oh, yo estoy ahí, ya. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. No, that's great, that's great. So, that's what I've been doing, y después yo regreso este viernes al, al studio. Tengo el día libre, y voy a bregar. Y es un solo tema, se está trabajando mucho. Sí. Y tú haces toda la música de, like, from scratch, como quien dice, o... It's all from scratch. Vienen y tocan yeah, my, my producer, he, um, he did the arrangements, y cada músico entra, graba su parte. Así, así Esta es. Esta semana se va a grabar los dos trom trompetas y los dos trombones. Y después, la semana que viene, timbales con maraca y guido. Wow. So, bueno, mi gente, we'll be back shortly with our guest, Soraya Sergio. No Don't se muevan. Smiling in your face, really trying to hurt you. That's why I spend my time in the winter circle. I look ahead and all I see is hurdles. How you think I'm getting to the winter circle? Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down for me. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down for me. Hold it down, hold it down. They say we are only as strong as we are united, and it's weak. As we are divided Oh, this is wrong This isn't right We stand together United forever To win this fight What's going on? Like Marvin said Turn on the TV More and it's a lot there Time that we should all Come together and stand People choose sides From the lies they've been fed Over against terror We fighting over color Separated and steady United with one another And talk is cheap Actions be louder Cause all lives matter All lives matter If I can bring them all back I will bring them all back Mr. President No es a bien, unidos siempre en la guerra ardiente podemos vencer. We can't win this fight alone, we're much stronger together, fighting peace within our home. We can overcome any weather. Are we ready to fight together? Are we ready to stay together? Are we ready to love together? It's time for us to come together. We must learn to forgive together. together. So we can all live together. To end all the hate together. together. Now let's all get together. together. If I can bring them all back, I will bring them bring all them back. back. We have 
believe in a fair and just and inclusive America. You know that constant change has been America's hallmark, that it's not something to fear, but something to embrace. You are willing to carry this hard work of democracy forward. Hey, you've been watching the LDM show. Let us know what you think about this episode. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We value your opinions. Welcome back to El Regresamos. Latino Ruido. And we welcome Soraya Sergio. Welcome, Soraya. Hi. How are you? Good. Saludos. Gracias. Gracias por invitarme. De nada. Gracias por venir. Estamos bien. Sí. Sí. Se siente bien. Comfortable. Good. This is a chill out conversation. We're going to have a good time. Hablame de ti. ¿Quién es Soraya Sergio? So, Soraya Sergio nació Soraya Párez en Puerto Rico, Santurce. Se crió allí y llegó a Nueva York a los 13 años. Okay. So, you know, hablando un poquito de inglés. Dibbing and dabbing in English, right. and I went to school. I did my thing, mm -hmm. and then in my youth, at 25, mm -hmm. I found out that I was HIV positive okay. through a daughter I had. Okay, okay 28 years ago. Right. So that baby um, was born in 1991, okay. and I got tested. Baby comes out positive. And then I come out positive. And those times, there were no tests for the mothers while you were getting uh, prenatal care. Right. So, la niña se enfermó. Eh, no había medicina. Right. Y ahí empezó el trabajo de la advocación mm -hmm. de Soraya Párez por su hija y por sí misma. Sí. Because I was afraid of what they were giving us, medications that in 1991, they right. were still fi trying to find out right, right. what was going on. Right. So this is how we got here. Right, right. Y eso tiempo era just AZT. En ese tiempo era AZT y muchos de, y no sabían how much, how many milligrams to give to people, right. let alone a child. Right. So that was not working out. Okay. Okay. Um, what uh, helped us a lot was believing in a team of doctors that were telling me that we needed to do research. Okay. So in other words, me dijeron que yo tenía que ser una conejito de India con la hija mía. Mm -hmm. Y si tú quieres, sí. we can put you in it, you know. Right. And I was like, what are you talking about? But it eventually happened because it needed to happen. Mm -hmm. And that expanded my knowledge of how HIV enters into the body, it uh, causes damage, mm -hmm. what medications are being used, and what the medications do right. to our bodies and to the HIV virus. Okay. So that was the transition of learning ethics, learning research, reading a lot, okay. not being a person who knew anything about medical, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I had to do it for my child and for myself. Y ahora, that, right, give it up for her. That experience led you to what are you doing now? So I became, uh, first of all, I was not a very personal, personable person. Like, I would, you wouldn't, you wouldn't approach me 28, 30 years ago. Right. Okay? Um, more of a, you over there and me over right. here, and I'll have a barrier. I don't want to talk See. to nobody. Very antisocial. Right. Um, and I don't, I didn't trust nobody. Right. I'm an only child. Okay. No brothers, no sisters. Mm -hmm. Single mom. Okay. Um, right. You know. See, see. So, so eventually, um, I let my guards down, and I allow people to help me. But that took me to a place of being a peer right. for the community, a okay. peer educator. So was, as I was educating myself, I was educating people around me without knowing it. Sí. And my doctor saw that, and he assigned me to go to school and told me that he would help me out mm -hmm. in 
doing these things for the community. And they offered me a volunteer job. So that's where this started. So you're a leader. You're of leading course. a yes. great source of education to the community. Right. Because I use my personal right. walk. Right. I disclose. Mm -hmm. And I use that as, as an experience for the other person. Okay. Okay. How does... Um, there's always been a stigma attached to being positive. Do you think that that stigma has been alleviated a little bit because of the openness and because of the advances of medication? No. 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 Talk to me about that. It has nothing to do with stigma is personal. Mm -hmm. Stigma is you're homeless. Stigma you are gay. Stigma you're a drug addict. Or you don't know, you don't have a degree. Right. So those are the stigmas, not the lack of education, because the education is in the community. Mm -hmm. And also uh, the cultural disparity. Right. Of, you know, in New York City, you have many different races, many different cultures, mm -hmm. many different religions. Right. So different people, different things, sí. diferente gusto. Diferente gusto. Y afecta a la persona, y cada afecta. persona diferente. Exactamente. Sí. Pero el estigma está y no es por falta de educación. ¿Qué le dice a las personas que quieren hablar sobre su diagnosis, uh -huh. pero no tienen, no, no pueden por el miedo? So exactamente eso. Hay personas que me dicen, Soraya, tú eres la única persona que sabe lo que me está pasando. Uh -huh. Mi familia no lo sabe, no se lo puedo decir. Por diferentes cosas que ya hemos hablado sí. ahora, en la misma familia de uno hay diferentes creencias, sí. diferentes culturas, uh -huh. que la misma familia de uno no se acepta within themselves. Right. You know? So, therefore, yes, I do have people that I'm the only one that knows those things, right. or the clinic where they take care of themselves, right. social worker, uh, support groups, right. and things like that. The field of HIV and AIDS. Cuéntanos sobre the ADAP production. ¿Qué es el ADAP production? So basically, um, it is uh, HIV uninsured care program. It's the first step to provide care. Mm -hmm. There's the obstacle of I don't have insurance. People come from different way, walks of life. Some people are undocumented, meaning right. they're immigrants, right. or they come from another state and don't know how to receive any type of service. Right. So the Ryan White program, which okay. is the HIV Uninsured Care Program, ADAP, AIDS Drugs Assistance Program, right. okay. would provide you with uh, certain criteria of uh, coverage, not insurance. Just okay. coverage. Okay. So you can go to the clinic, get the labs paid, pay for your care, okay. dental, immediate things that you might need. The dental, uh, x-ray for, you know, your, your, because lo primero que uno puede coger es una pulmonía. Right. Okay, so eso, el dentista, GYN, sí. different type of things that people need. So there's a formulary of services that they provide, what they don't pay for. Is emergency okay. care and um, hospitalization. Okay. Okay, and little other things that a, a comprehensive health insurance, okay. like Medicaid, mm -hmm. would cover. Okay. Or like a private health insurance that you will pay into. Right. Okay. Y so, los medicamentos. So los medicamentos los pagan también. Los pagan también. Sí. Okay. Okay. Medicamentos y todo lo que esté en el formulario. Got that. Got that. Um, the population that you serve in the Bronx. Sure. ¿Cuáles son la gente que tú está, is the focus? So, en el programa que nosotros servimos, the Access to Healthcare program, it's funded so we can um, identify individuals, women, men, 
coming out from prison, coming out from the hospital, uh, immigrants, undocumented, mm -hmm. any type of person. Any type of person. Okay. okay, even children. Right. So I, I, I personally um, say that we identify more uh, LGBT. Okay. Q individuals, right. um, but um, there is your percentage of heterosexuals, there's your percentage of uh, teenagers, there's your percentage of, you know, uh, women, people coming out of prison, people that are transitioning from homelessness into, you know, uh, getting an apartment see, and see, things see, like see. that. See, see, see. Okay. Um, your experience with working with the population of being in the business for how many years now? Well, it's been 15 years working with Community Healthcare Network. Yeah. And, um, but I've been doing this for 28 years. Right. So for the, for the part that I have been diagnosed HIV positive, mm -hmm. I have been in, invested sí, sí, in sí, this. Sí, sí, sí. Just because lo, necesita, lo necesito para mí, y para la gente que yo sirvo. Claro, claro, uh -huh. claro. Eh, what does it mean for someone to be and remain undetectable? So, um, undetectability means that your viral load of HIV is not detected uh, through a blood lab, lab work, okay? So, they have, um, if you take your medication the way it's supposed to be, you don't create resistance of that medication because you take it correctly. That medication is going to take you to be undetectable. That means that you don't transmit the HIV virus to another person because you're not able to. Is, is but that that's like not telling you that you don't have to use a condom. You have to think about there's always that percentage because it's not a hundred nada es cien por ciento not even the condom ni el condom <laughs> okay so si vamos no si vamos a la parte de cuando a las mujeres le dicen porque vamos estamos hablando de los tiempos de antes sí. cuando te daban la pastillita para la mujer para no tener hijo mm -hmm. right porque ahora hay muchas cosas y todo el mundo puede usar el hombre y la mujer pueden usar you know, cosas sí. para no tener sí. niño. Sí. So, cuando te dan esa pastilla, te dicen que eso es 99.6%, tú tienes que usar un condón con eso. Sí. ¿Qué tú te llevas de ahí? Oh, me dieron una pastilla, no caigo preñada, y olvídate del condón, que eso es, eso es el 6%, no es nada. Ajá, ajá. Las estadísticas. Y tú puedes ser ese número de esa estadística. Anybody. Eso es todo. Anybody, Anybody can be. Um, do we have, uh, are we going on a break or do we, all right, guys, don't go anywhere. This is a great topic. Very we'll be back shortly and we're going to continue no with puede. Soraya Sergio. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. <coughs> guys put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, we expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LBM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to life. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. Welcome back. Welcome back to El Latino Ruido. 
And we are here with our guest, Soraya Sergio. Hi. Let's hey. continue. We actually, um, before commercial, we were talking about uh, undetectable, being undetectable, right? Yes. Um, piggybacking off of that, let's talk about a little bit about PrEP. PrEP is um, Truvada, is it? Yes. OK. So talk to me a little bit about that. PrEP is una medicación mm -hmm. que se puede tomar para prevenir que tú te infectes con el VIH, okay. ¿ok? Pero se tiene que usar con un condón. Así como te expliqué sí. ahorita, eh, la educación sobre el PrEP es porque si tú estás teniendo, if you are having high risk behaviors, and, ¿ok? And high risk behaviors okay. would be, you're a sexual person, you like to have sex, you're free, you like to do all the things that you want to do, right? Right. So you want to be prepared. Okay. So you want to take this pill because you don't know who you're having sex with okay. and you're preventing something to come into your body. Okay. But you must use a condom with that okay. because we cannot stop the syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, That's right? Stuff, and right. that is the way of HIV coming into your body. Right. You understand? Right. So nothing comes through the mouth. There is no uh, definition of you get infected because you are doing oral sex and the person has HIV and it comes through your mouth. That is not found anymore. Okay, wow. Yeah, wow that's that's not, that's that is not. Not even herpes through the mouth? Uh, no, no, it, we're talking about HIV. Okay. But herpes, yes. And, you know. <laughs> herpes is something that you keep forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other. Yeah, yeah. That's, another that's a whole other talk show. <laughs> But definitely, um, yes, uh, you take PrEP so you can prevent from things from happening. Right, right. So how with PrEP, mm -hmm. with being undetectable, there's a huge wave of couples who are living, I want to say, happily ever after. Yeah. They have a very healthy sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. um, they're not using condoms, and we're talking about couples that where one is positive and one is negative, and the negative partner has maintained negative before PrEP ever came out. Yes. Right. Want to talk to me about that? Oh, wow. That? That, yeah, so, that's possible. Cero discordantes, como estábamos cero hablando. Discordantes. Uh, zero discordant couples. So I want to say, um, because I come from research, as I said in the beginning, I was always like five and six years before things came out. Okay. So I knew and I was educated on things that were coming down the pipe that were being researched. Right. Okay. So I knew about infection, how infection works. Okay. Right? And um, there are certain things for certain people, depending on how you have sex the high risk behavior, how many partners you have, and things like that, mm -hmm. which it takes you to that way of getting positive, right? right? So having una person, una, una, una couple, a couple, right. that is uno negativo y uno positivo, en mi caso, yo soy la positiva, conocí un muchacho hace 28, 26 años, wow, okay. y estamos todavía juntos y nos casamos, él es negativo, yo soy positiva, él nunca usó PrEP, pero nosotros estábamos en un estudio para averiguar por qué era que él se hacía los exámenes, pues nosotros decidimos tener sexo. Right. El momento que nosotros tuvimos una relación y usábamos condones cuando éramos novios, eh, después yo lo llevé a él y le dije desde el principio que yo era positiva. So, él entendió, él fue conmigo, se educó y el doctor de nosotros nos mandó a un estudio. En ese estudio, nosotros teníamos, teníamos que reportarnos, era, nosotros hacíamos el estudio nosotros porque queríamos, no era que algunos estudios te pagan. Este estudio right. era porque nosotros queríamos y éramos partícipes de eso. Sí, sí, sí. So, el, el, el estudio era porque él es negativo, yo soy positivo y cada seis meses él te sacaba un examen. Hasta el día de hoy él es negativo. Right. Um, Nunca nos ofrecieron PrEP porque siempre hemos sido monógamos. Mm. Muy importante. Say that in English. 
Okay. Monogamous. We got a. Uh, it's a very beautiful word. All right. That if you're clear with your partner what you want, right, and how you want it, right, then other things will come into place. Right. Um, and with, I was always with my husband. That conversation of okay, Papa, si tú vas a ir para la calle, por favor pon tus condones. Because you, I don't know what you're bringing me, and I'm the one that's HIV positive and can get some stuff, right? So we don't want that. I am not infecting you. We already go to the doctor. I am clean, clean bill. Right. You know, this is what it is. So that was the conversation. I'm not giving you permission to go and have fun out there. Right. I'm telling you, use common sense. Use a condom outside. We're doing this in our home. Right. And the doctors are aware. Okay, so oh, that's 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 that. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that is true. That is that. That's um, and actually, this is great that we're having this conversation because there's a lot of people who are watching, who need this information. <laughs> yeah. You know, who need yeah, this information? Who, definitely. Um, who may have been thinking about taking prep? who may have been thinking about dating somebody who's HIV positive, but who are still unclear. Mm -hmm. So this is a great um, platform, actually, mm -hmm. for you to come and educate our audience. I'm, I'm, I'm always up for the science, you know? And I want to say, uh, you don't have to be like me, but you should educate yourself and right. make um, educated choices for your life. You know, I made mine. Right. Don't listen to what I did. Right. But educate yourself and do what you need to do for your life. Right. What is the rate nowadays for the infection in the Hispanic community? It's very high. I'm not going. I'm not good at numbers. Right. I don't keep a tab because right. that's very statistical. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, um, when it comes to number. I always go back to, do you know that I have to identify 220 persons mm -hmm. in the Bronx every year to, so I can help them? Meaning, whether they're newly diagnosed or not, right. I have to identify 220. I identify more than 400 wow. and serve them yearly. By identify, what do you mean by identify? Identify like, hi, I know you, what, you, and you need help? Because I go and I disclose, and people be like, okay, so she, she, she maybe she has a sex too. Uh -huh. And I give my number out, and right. people call me. I don't have to see your face. If you don't want to talk to me face to face, maybe on the phone, maybe on text, maybe on Facebook, maybe, you know, yeah. I find a way. Right, people, right, right. people need that. Right. Yeah, yeah, and I these imagine. programs are uh, uh, supported by the AIDS Institute. Yes. Uh, New York Ace Institute right. are the ones that are giving Community Health Care Network the funding, the funding. Okay. so we can manage it. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, talk about a little bit, because you already talked about it just a bit, about undocumented oh. and HIV. Being both HIV positive and undocumented, I, is there an issue with those that are undocumented who are afraid, more afraid now because of the administration that we have today, because of ICE, because of the, the, the possibility things. of being deported. Now, the individual's HIV positive. They don't come forward risking their health. Uh, a viral load that's going out of control, their T cells are dropping. How do you hmm. educate people so that they do come out and not be afraid because they are undocumented? So, es una pregunta muy buena, Javier, porque te puedo decir que me meto donde no me tengo que meter. Voy a donde no tengo que estar. I love her spirit. Okay. Eh, en las barras, en los shelters, en los sitios hispanos, en Soundview, en el parque. Mira, ¿cómo tú estás? Ay, mi nombre es Soraya, ¿puedo hablar contigo? That's all it takes, right. you know? And I don't go with, you know, an ID and, no, just walk in the street like I'm normally doing this, right? you know? 
So it just takes time and invención en tu cabeza para saber para dónde, cómo tú lo vas a hacer. Sí. Y he sido exitosa en eso porque te voy a decir que en muchos sitios que he ido, uh -huh. lo primero que digo es que soy positiva. Okay. Es personas escuchan, entonces después se me acercan. Sí. Okay? Y la, lo más bueno es que como hablo español, parece que you know, el español es, es más atrayente. Tú puedes, tú puedes hablar con una persona o explicar tu situación para que después ellos piensen, hmm, a lo mejor ella me puede ayudar. Y así es que la barrera se cae y me y me contactan. Nice. So, en las barras, en la calle, en el parque, mm -hmm. donde tú quieras. Sí. Y a veces they just may volunteer to come to the clinic, but they're not still very sure. Right. Se van de la clínica. So, tenemos móviles, tenemos móviles okay. que llevan, I'm sorry, <laughs> so, estoy acostumbrada. <laughs> llevamos móviles que llevan, el, you know, like mobiles. Mobile units. That right. mobile unit that we go to these parks, we go to these clubs, and we stand them in front. Right. And there is some type of linkage with the bartenders, with the managers of the clubs. Right. Por ejemplo, tenemos un sitio que visitamos mucho, mm -hmm. en la 149 y Tercera Avenida. Mm -hmm. Hay un móvil todos los lunes, ¿qué es hoy? Miércoles. Lunes, miércoles y viernes. Eh, de 6 de la tarde a 11 de la noche. So, cuando yo estaba viniendo para acá, el móvil estaba allí paradito. <laughs> Did you wave and say, hey? Ay, hey mira, voy para allá. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, um, I remember seeing a mobile unit down in the village. That too. There's Does one that still? It's still the same, it's the same mobile. ¿Y qué, promo qué promueven los mobiles? El mobile te da, eh, tú puedes hacer STIs, eh, screenings, HIV screening, o sea, te puedes hacer la prueba del VIH, 15 minutitos te lo dicen, te puedes hacer, me duele, me pica, me rasco, no sé, puedes hacer algo. <risa> te curan ahí mismo. Y después te damos una cita, si sales positivo, of course, ahí pues me mandan un telephone encounter, right. le dan una cita al paciente y por ahí empiezo yo. Pero, how, how sure is that? Porque tú me dices que you can be undetectable si tú te haces el análisis. Entonces, so, I want to say, si tú eres positivo, ¿verdad? Y caíste positivo ahora y nunca has tomado medicina, en, de tres a seis meses, si no tomas medicina, el HIV está vuelto loco o sin idea en tu cuerpo. Okay? Pero, ahora en estos tiempos, nada de eso pasa. Porque donde quiera que tú vas, en la ciudad de Nueva York, mm -hmm. te van a dar medicina de una vez. Right. Hasta el departamento de salud. Right. Donde quiera, yeah, te van a dar medicina. Medication really fast so, tú te estás tomando awesome. esa pastilla sin saber lo que está pasando, pero ya, se está, okay, ya tú okay. sabes que dentro de un mes, dos meses, esa indetectibilidad, in you're going to be indetectable. Right. Yes. Oh. It's proven. How are we doing with time? One minute? Ah, this yeah. is so good. This is so good. <laughs> we can do uh, part two. Are we, are we coming back and continue? Okay. You will. Okay. Um, I want to keep going, but I know this is going to take much yeah, longer before the one minute. minute. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we come back, we're going to continue with Soraya and the topic of HIV and AIDS. Si um, tienen preguntas, nos pueden llamar. Soraya sí. está aquí. Hablamos con Soraya. Y el teléfono, el teléfono. El teléfono. Un número, chicos. Un número. Chico. Un número. Ah. Okay, so yeah. no, but I'm glad um, that Soraya is here and, uh, and uh, this topic is being spoken about. Yeah, it's very, very, very important. Um, pero ya el tiempo, no veo el tiempo. Okay, nos vemos en los tiros, se vayan. She's so fake. She's such a slut. You can see the layers on Look her face. Look at her face. chicken legs. <laughs> oh my God. How short is that skirt? I can't believe she'd even put that on. <laughs> is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. Oh my god. How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. 
I got an idea, pastas. Welcome back to El Latino Ruido, and we're here with Soraya. We're going to continue this conversation on el VIH y el SIDA. Um, Soraya, vamos a hablar sobre la noticia que recibimos ayer sobre el segundo paciente que se curó uh -huh. del SIDA por cuestión de uh, bone marrow transplant yeah. and stem cell uh, Infusion. That he, infusion yeah. that he received. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you. Yes. I'm going to ask you. ¿A dónde fue eso? Esto fue. No, no. Oh. ¿A, dónde, ¿A dónde curamos al tipo? So Por she's favor. asking, where was this particular patient? Where was this patient cured? And this was in London. Right. And the first right. one was in Berlin. Berlin. Right? Right. ¿Dónde son esos sitios, papá? Europa. Europa. Ajá. Aquí no vamos a tener eso. ¿Tú, no ¿Tú sabes el business que hay aquí? I know. So let's talk about that. Okay. Let's talk about that. She's saying that the possibility of a cure here in the States is probably not probable because it's a huge trillion dollar? If not, it's huge. It's huge. It's a business. And, you know, okay, let's talk about it. Yeah. Your opinion. So in my opinion, yes, we need the cure right. for HIV, but um, as well as we need a cure for cancer, cancer. Yeah. as well as we need a cure for diabetes, right. which yeah. is controllable, right? you know? So um, research is there. We're going into, uh, the research is going into longer, en vez de pastilla, sí. inyección. I heard about that today. Okay, una inyección que ahora la están poniendo, una inyección que se pone una vez a la semana porque está en fase 1 con los humanos. Okay. Okay. Tiene que pasar tres facetas, un estudio para ser aprobado con los humanos. Okay. Okay. It might take a year, it might take two, it might take five. You don't know that. Okay. But um, la cuestión es que mi cerebro piensa como la persona positiva y esta parte del cerebro piensa como la manejadora del programa okay. estadísticas y dinero qué me ha pasado y cómo, cómo lo veo y algunas veces es difícil porque es una pelea sí. eh, algunas veces cuando estoy en la mesa tengo que ser la clienta la, 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 la paciente la persona HIV positiva para que me escuchen porque yo soy la que llevo la manejadora, yo soy la que manejo aquí, okay. mi vida. Mm -hmm. Ni el doctor sabe, ni ha sabido, porque yo le digo cómo yo me siento. Él sabe de los números, pero los números no son nada. La indetectibilidad que tú estabas hablando ahorita no es nada comparado con los side effects de las medicaciones y cómo cada diferente humano toma las medicinas. Ok, so, eh, la cura, la cura eh, está lejos, pero está ahí, está ahí. la podemos Arms tocar, reach. la podemos tocar, porque en Europa dos personas ahora okay. están, y lo que están tratando de decir en Europa que es eh, universal care, right. so, en Europa tú no tienes que pagar, no, en Europa tú vas, necesitas medicaciones, tú eres positivo, como si nada, pum, 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 vámonos que es tarde y todo el mundo. Sí. En los países donde ya hay dinero, donde está el euro. El euro. Ok, que es una forma de dinero. Eh, aquí en los Estados Unidos, pues hay protocolos, hay que hablar, las fundaciones, dinero privado aquello, sí. el red otro, tape, red tape, red y, tape. y muchos red tape para tú llegar a donde tienes que llegar. Sí. So, entonces, vamos a salir primero con estas medicinas que hacen less side effects that you don't have to take a pill every day. We're going to make you more comfortable, pero 
las medicinas ahora, un pote de 30 días vale 3 mil dólares. La medicina. Wow. Ok. So, si tú te pones dólares. a contar 3 mil dólares al mes. Eso es más de una renta. No, eso es un trabajo. Porque yo lo he multiplicado. Tú no, tú no lo multiplicas. 12, 12 meses por 3 mil son 36 mil, casi 40 mil dólares. Y eso es solamente una pastilla de VIH. Si tú wow. estás bebiendo tres o cuatro, puede ser más de 3 mil dólares al mes. ¿Ok? Esa inyección va a costar 21 mil dólares. ¿Una? Una inyección para cada tres meses. ¿Qué? So, si... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that <laughs> what? Yeah, that was perfect. Fit my expression. <laughs> what? Yes. What? Oh, my God. So, entonces, vamos a dividir entre tres meses, el 21, 21 mil. Sí. ¿No me cabe? No me cabe porque 3, 6, 9, ¿verdad? 3 mil, 3 mil, 3 mil. Sí. Por tres meses. Mm. Wow. ¿Viste cómo duele? Y eso es solamente la medicación. Una persona en el estado de Nueva York que mm. tiene VIH, para la gente médica, cuesta casi 250 mil dólares al año. Una. So definitely a trillion dollar. Yeah, you know. this is a business game. Yeah, it's a business. It's definitely. So then you deduct all of that and then, right. you know, and you add your high blood pressure, your little bit of diabetes, co-infection, your hepatitis C, because hepatitis C is curable. Did we talk about that? No, let's talk about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that, that's incredible, but all. Yes. So, eso es lo que, eso, ese es mi, de verdad, mi, mi deducción personal. Sí. ¿Ok? Yo no estoy aquí para hablar mal de la, de la, de la gente, de la, de, de la gente que hace las pastillas o de la gente que del gobierno, no. Sí. La realidad. Es la realidad. Pues con cuatro gente, un millón. Mi amor. ¿Y cuánta imagina? Cuatro, cuatro. Y ahorita no era como un billón, un billón de gente. Yeah, it's over a trillion dollars. That's, that's close to like, what's the next, a zillion? What's so up mira, a trillion? cuando tú vayas a buscar stock, pónganselo a la gente, a los farmacéuticos, que esa gente sí que están haciendo dinero. Yeah. Wow. That's why they don't want to let the cure out. No. That's fucked up. No, y tú crees que hay una cura que existe ahora. Okay. Huh? Tú crees que hay una no cura que empiece. existe ahora. Sí. ¿Quién? ¿Tú crees? ¿Ahora? Ahora. Ah, pero la cura ha estado hace tiempo. ¡Yeah! Seguro que sí. Pero no van a release it, of course. Of no, course of course not. not. No. Of course not. ¿Tú sabes cuánta gente, un, uh, dos aviones han tumbado? I know. I know, I know, I know. Uno en Haití y uno por ahí por Ecuador. Los, sí, so, there was South a plane America. that went down carrying two of the top age researchers. And that plane was shot down. Mm -hmm. And there's speculation that these two age scientists found the cure found the cure mm -hmm. they were working on it and they probably made a tremendous uh, discovery and all of a sudden the plane shut down and they were never heard of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. but you know those are little news que tú no escuchas por ahí porque tú no. sabes no es importante no, no, no. no. wow wow como afecta esto um, For seniors. Our seniors oh, ahora mismo, mm -hmm. pues el seguro. Eh, yo no sé qué están pensando esta gente, pero el Medicare, al parte de, uh -huh. ha sacado todas las medicinas del VIH porque ellos te quieren decir a ti qué es lo que tú debes de tomar. Porque ellos son los que están pagando las medicinas. Mm -hmm. No sé, no entiendo. Eh, entonces estamos peleando. Y cada de estas personas que son either 65 or over, right. or people who are disabled. Because if you have a disability, if, even if you're young, you have a disability, and you have a disability for two years, you are a disabled person and you're eligible for Medicare. Medicare does not pay for medications. So Medicare, you have to contract an HMO and pay for that HMO So that HMO can pay for the co-payments of your medication and stuff like that. Right, right. Which, to a person of 65, 
They don't understand no, they don't what's understand. happening. No. Most of the people I, at 55, because I am, uh. I don't <laughs> want to think about what my mother goes through. Right. Because I had to sit there and thank God that I do insurance so I knew how to explain to her what was going on in my mom. And no, no es positiva. Pero para la gente regular que no necesitan estas medicinas de HIV, sí. es un problema. Imagínate una persona que necesita medicaciones que son solamente, you know, the specialty medications, you need pre-authorizations, you need this, you need that. The moment that the doctor writes the prescription, mm. it, you're not getting the drugs. Right. You gotta wait a, a week or two, que alguien levante el dedo y llame y haga la preautorización y lo diga y lo haga, sí. para entonces tú tener las medicinas. Sí, 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 sí. Una persona de 65 años no debería de estar pensando en esas cosas, Exacto. pero eso es lo que hace. Esa es la realidad. Um, okay, we talked about seniors. Let's talk about um, newborns. Oh, newborns. Okay. There's no more Abe's wards, no. and from what I understand, babies have been are being born from HIV positive mothers, negative, and this has been happening for quite a number of years. So I'm going to talk about. That daughter that I spoke about, that she was positive and okay. she was diagnosed 28 years ago, today she's a woman mm -hmm. of 28 years. She decided that she wanted to be with this young man and this young man is negative. The young man was educated, he accepted, he said it's okay, blah, 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 they wanted to have a baby. They got into, uh, they went into the doctor and with doctor's orders, um, they did what they needed to do. The baby today was born. Uh, it's been a month. Her name um, is Alisa. My grandbaby is negative. So the procedure for that is for the mom to get it to certain medications. Um, I don't know right now uh, what's the, lo que están bebiendo las madres. No me acuerdo muy bien cuál es el régimen. Pero hay un régimen diferente que está dedicado para las mujeres que están encinta. Okay. So tú te tomas esas medicinas. My daughter has always been undetectable. Okay. So that means that she doesn't transmit, and that means that it was up to her boyfriend to take prep. He decided not to because he's sure of what he wants, and he was educated. So right. he decided he didn't want to, and they had this baby, and the baby was born Finalmente, naturalmente, really? porque los babies ahora no tienen que hacerle cesárea. Oh, I did not know that, because I, from what I understood, babies are born negative because of C-section. No. So that's no longer. That's no longer what wow. it is. Wow, okay. That changed last year. Wow. Okay. The guidelines changed last year. So what they do is, mom takes, they make, make mom takes the medication, they make sure that the mom is undetectable throughout her whole pregnancy. See has the baby, if there's no problems, she should push that baby out. Once the baby is out, they're taking that baby, they're putting the baby somewhere, they're putting in all the orifices, in todos los protitos del bebé, sí, sí, sí. le ponen la medicina y le dan medicina right. AZT a la bebé, al bebé por cierto tiempo. Okay. Pero le están haciendo el examen. Eh, los bebés no nacen positivos porque se infectan de la mamá sino se infectaban por el canal, no por el ombligo, right. um, the, the umbilical cord, mm -hmm. no, se infectan por el, se infectaban por ahí porque por la boca, por los oídos, los ojos, but they wasn't taking the right medications right. back then. Right. This wow. has changed. This is amazing news. Amazing. Amazing news. Um, Anyway, are we coming back or? That's it. That's we're it. Not going. We're well, gonna people, we're gonna have to bring her back though. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight uh, with me, Soraya, and Alex. Stay tuned for next week's uh, show. Who do we have next week? Uh, Luis Ramirez, trumpet player. So, guys, I want to say again, thank you for joining us in El Latino Ruido. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, y nos vemos el próximo miércoles.